Well, good morning. I hope you guys are having a better morning than me. So, trucking, man, it's unpredictable. Everything was going good. Yesterday, um, Bob finished getting here to Lebanon. They gave me a load. The load's ready. It has three deliveries. One in Kentucky, two in Tennessee. And it would have worked out great. I would have been an hour, if that, from uh, Menor to pick up the Sea Ray. Probably an oversized load. Hopefully going west because I told him I need to get home uh, to Arizona. So I got here. I had to drop off the RGN trailer at a shop about an hour away over Stafford. And then bobtailed here to Lebanon. Well, I went to my favorite little barbecue place, had dinner, talked with the ladies. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to bed. About seven o'clock, went to bed. I have the hours to, now that I'm uh, getting, working out my recaps, I had enough to drive today, get up early, I, was, I started my day at 2 a.m. I planned on getting all the way into Kentucky, just south of uh, uh, Lexington and get the first first delivery done. That was weird. That was a, my monster can. <laughs> just uh, released pressure, I guess. <laughs> it just popped. Um, so my plan was, even though these are set for the Kentucky delivery on Thursday and then the two Tennessee deliveries on Friday. One's over in Bristol and the other one on the west side of Knoxville. Well, me trying to, in a way, hustle, get these loads done and uh, be ahead of the game, right? Freaking These trailers are something else. I'll just say that. Um, partially the trailer fault, partially the loader's fault. So I get here. I'm the only one here. Of course, you know, it's early. No one in your way. The bad thing about this place is it is a mud hole because of the weather. Um, they just removed all the snow. So the ground is slushy mud and frozen mud. So needless to say, I'm a little upset right now. My truck is filthy dirty on the inside here, which I don't like. So I'm gonna have to vacuum and clean and do all that. But it's because I'm trying to fix a problem. So, you can never have enough tools, guys. I'm telling you, um, now with the RGN trailers, a hammer and a pry bar, a good sized pry bar, will help. But, even with brand new trucks, you can have problems with old trailers. They could blow your fuses at the pigtail. So, get a test light. I have a test light, I have a, a meter gauge, I mean I got, go get uh, new fuses, uh, 15 amp, 30 amp, no, nothing really bigger than 30, so 15 and 10s are typical. Uh, get those at truck stops, auto zones, O'Reilly's, wherever. Um, That's the problem I got right now, is the uh, running lights, half of the running lights in the back 
trailer lights on this boat trailer are out. I was doing my pre-trip, you know, and once I plugged everything in, I was getting ready to go through the blocks in the in the trailer. It would have been just a, a hook and book, right? 15 minutes. It's now just past 4 a.m. I have to wait until 8 a.m. for a shop right around the corner here to open up because of a pigtail. The back of these, this trailer, the bumpers extend out for overhang of, of, of loads. So there's a pigtail that goes along with it. Well, I'm, I'm filthy dirty. Like, my jeans are filthy dirty. I've been on my knees. I've been crawling around in the mud and the muck. Coveralls. Get coveralls. I gotta get me some coveralls. But, they had recently replaced the pigtail because it's black and it looks brand new. Well, either they replaced the pigtail and just said, well, the lights, the running lights are not staying on. That's the problem. I got half of the running lights on the trailer work and the brakes and the turn signal lights flash when they're doing the test. Now there's a switch here on the dash for these newer trucks. You hit the test light and it helps you be able to walk around your trailer or truck and trailer doing your pre-trip and post-trips and they'll cycle all the lights for you. So if you ever see someone on a truck stop and their brights are flashing and then they're going off and they're flashing, they're going, the guy's doing his walk around, all right? Well, I'm in the back and the running lights are not working. So I can't leave. I can't leave at night because they don't work. Uh, brake lights work when I hit the brakes. Turn signal works when I hit, turn, hit the turn signal. But the running lights are not work, working. So I can't drive at night. And technically you can't drive because it's part of your pre-trip and post-trip. So if I would have got pulled into a scale house and they wanted to do a full inspection, I'd get dinged on it. But what has apparently has happened, they've replaced the pigtail, the aftermarket pigtail. Now, normally the pigtails are green. Well, this one's a black one. So they've replaced it. And then when the loader loaded these boats, they placed uh, wood across the, the belly of the trailer and then they put little two by four blocks uh, to keep the wood from going side to side. It kind of braces within the belly of the trailer. But when they did that, they set the the piece of two by four on top of the pigtail door. So you gotta lift the door to the pigtail to plug in the pigtail and then it comes back down and it, it has a little hook on to keep the pigtail from backing out, all right? Well, that was all plugged in, but then they put this 2x4 on top of it, and it pinched the pigtail, because I I had to, luckily, I have little, they're just aluminum John boats, they don't have no motor nor nothing, they're just like, they're green, you put a little trolley motor on there, and you go out and do a little duck hunt, that's what they're for. So I grabbed my pry bar, crowbar, and I was able to move the two by four out of the way to then lift the pigtail door and pull the pigtail out. And then I used my test light and I was getting the power at the test light. But on the other end of the pigtail, I wasn't getting power. So they damaged the pigtail. You know, process of elimination. Power here, no power here. What's in between, right? And of course, that was like nearly the last thing I checked because I went back there. It looked new. I 
fiddled, you know, I made sure it was fully plugged in, cool. I checked the pigtail of the truck, I had power. I checked the fuses at the, you have a fuse box down here. If it was a manual, it'd be by your clutch pedal, but these are automatic. So you have a fuse box here, and then you have a fuse box on the end of the motor compartment on the firewall. Um, and they will tell you it's like J5. Look for J5. It's it's very common uh, when you get a bad line haul trailer. Uh, sometimes it'll, it'll happen. They'll pop the fuse. It's the pigtails. When you're swapping trailers all the time, you're pulling in and out of your pigtail of the trailers. And if the prong is bent or tweaked or whatever, I don't know why or how, but it causes electrical problems and it'll blow your your little 15 amp fuse so again have backup fuses have a test light and sometimes something so simple can get you going down the road I tried my best to fix find the problem fix the problem I have fuses I have test lights I have tools I ain't got no pigtail and you go to the truck stop and you look up how much those pigtails cost and you'll understand why I don't just carry extra pigtails. I carry extra of everything else. Window washer fluid, radiator fluid, even though I got a brand new truck. Still, that, that don't mean nothing. Um, but, the boat has ruined or boat trailer has ruined my plan of making money so and I had started my clock too because I was like two miles away bobtailed here so, all right start the day let's get going got the music rocking came here by myself cool got my my paperwork cool come over here connect to the trailer right on step out of the mud got pissed off <laughs> start doing my pre-trip pissed off again because the lights aren't working alright I got you pull out my tools gonna figure it out called breakdown breakdown uh, they know exactly what fuse to look for so I was like okay what's the fuse okay I checked it oh I got power basically with breakdown on the phone and me going through everything we determined it's the pigtail it's damaged from from what I saw what I found I explained it to them it's the nature of the beast guys trucking man it's trucking Tom green eyed be rolling <laughs> eventually I guess I'm gonna clean myself up vacuum up this mud and uh, go to bed for about three more hours later